What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla and today we're gonna unbox the Hamming Collection Brachiosaurus. It is tremendous and I'm finally glad to have gotten it because I, I had to cancel my pre-order but you know what? Since it came out, uh, I guess two to three weeks ago, uh, I have seen it in stock multiple times. Uh, but the reason why I decided to do an unboxing here is because you do have to put this guy together and I figured, you know, that might be something uh, we want to take a look at, but maybe not so much in a review. We'll take a look at the box in full, but I wanted to show you the bottom of the box because it shows you the one-time assembly, which is what we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, I'm also joined by Ultrazilla Jr. What's up, Ultrazilla Jr.? How are you? Uh, good. All right, great. Uh, <laughs> we filmed this three times. Um, <laughs> but Ultrazilla Jr. was with me uh, when we got this, and it took us... A you can see the box is a little bit messed up, but this was the best of the boxes there. A lot of the boxes had like security things around them uh, that ruined them. There was two that was without, and this was the better one of the two. But when we were um, paying, this guy kind of slipped out of my hand and fell on the floor. So I got a little bit dented in a couple of spots, but it's not a big deal. I, I, at the end of the day, I don't think I'm keeping this box anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and open it and uh, we'll see how it looks on the inside. So as far as the bottom of the box, this is how uh, everything <laughs> looks. But I think on the top of the box, all the, the limbs are just kind of in there. I think I've seen somebody open it from that way. Uh, more, I don't know. So this is flat. I can feel the top is flat. I'm going to turn it over this way. I'm guessing if we pull this out, it's going to have all the pieces in a box. Aha. And I am correct. First is another piece of cardboard. And then you got all the pieces laid out like so. We also have this card inside. It says Bingo DNA. I know Ultrazilla Jr. was excited about this because it's on the box. How to make a Brachiosaurus. So, uh, with Mr. DNA. It's pretty cute. I'll give this to Ultrazilla Jr. Definitely have to do some uh, cutting to free all of these, so uh, we'll do that. But this is one piece of cardboard with the stuff. And then you got the main body. It doesn't look so big in the box, even though the box is big, but then you get to the actual thing. And uh, kind of feels like the old Brachiosaurus right now. I did. Yeah, got one leg. Big one. Uh, then... I think this is a tail. Oh. Tail? Mm -hmm. Giant tail. And then... More limbs. And that is it for the box. All right, and I freed the other two things. I don't know why these two in particular were away, but this is the neck coming up. You know what? I'm gonna hold off on the neck. Uh, and we could start putting these in place. As you can see, they're interesting shapes and uh, they are keyed. So this would be the back leg, I would guess, right? And this is the front. Right? No, no, wait a second. These are the back legs. Oh wait, that can't be. What is happening here? Alright, I'm gonna have to figure this out. The letters are your friends, my friends. And there is no additional directions. That's just the directions on the outside. So, C and C. So I think this guy's flipped. So that's A. This is C. And this is C. I wanna put it in the right spot. Whoa. Fancy. Fancy sounding A and A. Hold it. 
You definitely don't want to do this wrong. <laughs> uh, it's gonna go like this. There's a bird sounding really interesting. There we go. Uh oh. Okay. Wait a second. Hey. Yeah, that's. A, oh wait. You know what it is? <laughs> it just turned the wrong way. There we go. Okay. Now. B. And B. One of these things are turned the wrong way. Oh, wait a second. This is, this was the right way. The first one was the wrong way. Because this is, the head goes in here. So that's the tail? What's that? Yeah, so this side's the tail. So this goes in here. Goes in pretty easy. Gotta say. Oh, that's the tail. Where's the other leg? And the leg, and that's gotta be turned around. I don't know if the whole foot is turned around. We'll figure it out later. Big tail. Gotta go in here. Okay. For the neck. I know we're, we're gonna we're gonna maneuver. All right, so neck reveal, head reveal. There he is. Uh, let's see. So that's just gonna go straight in. Here you go. That's just a little thing here. Just align it. Push it in. I think it's in. Nope. No. There we go. Oh my god, this is... Leathery. Yeah, so the neck uh, feels interesting. Here we go, let's, let's go all the way down. He is tall. Hello, sir. Welcome. Big, big brachiosaur. Impressive probably about the same size as the older one. One of these legs is wrong. I can't, I can't tell which is which. We'll, figure, we'll have to figure this out. Not wrong, but like, you know, turned the wrong way. I do like his head. Mm -hmm. Right? Why does he have little um, dot things on his mouth? Uh, he has them all over. See? I did not know yeah, that's pretty much one of the staples of Mattel's Jurassic line. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It is very nice. The body is very hollow. It reminds me of the old one, which we will look at in the review. There's definitely similarities to the old one, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. And uh, we'll uh, leave it there, guys. Uh, the rest in the review very, very soon. I will be comparing it to the big colossal version, which I don't think is that different than this one, to be honest. There's a lot of similarities here that I'm noticing that at least I think I notice, you know. But uh, yeah, there we go. The big Brachiosaurus unboxed. And again, I just wanted to do this, so just in case anybody had any questions about how it comes and, uh, you know, the assembly. Even though I'm not 100% sure if I did the legs quite right. But we'll have to see if they're... I think this one is flipped the wrong way. Uh, but I'll fix it in time for the review. Hope you uh, dug this. Till next time. Peace out, Pete.